Joe Jonas has formed a huge part of our childhood. Whether we're obsessed with the Jonas Brothers or avid watchers of their show on Disney, the world just couldn't get enough of these guys back then. He recently announced his return to acting with the film Devotion, which hit the theaters on 23rd November 2022. Stay tuned as we unpack his experience of working on this project and how his wife Sophie helped him out. First off, Joe Jonas compared making a movie to being on tour. In an interview, Joe was asked about his experience working on the set of the film. The interviewer asked if there were any similarities between preparing for a movie and preparing for a tour. We have to admit, from an outsider's perspective, it seems like both involve a lot of mental and physical preparation. However, Joe said this was not the case. According to the 33-year-old musician, being on tour is much tougher than working on a movie set. Jonas said that you're constantly on the move when you're on tour. Whether it's rehearsals or actual tours, you're constantly moving from one location to the next. We can't even imagine how tiring it must be. He said that while it was difficult, he'd gotten used to it, and there had come a point where he just knew what to expect. With the movie, the experience was a complete 180. Joe said putting his feet up somewhere for three or four months was nice. He didn't have to worry about flights and getting from one place to the next. He could really relax and focus on immersing himself himself into the role, getting to know the character, and spending valuable time with co-workers. Joe said that it was nice to separate his career as an artist from that as an actor in this way. Next up, about Joe's new movie. Devotion is a war drama that tells the tale of one of the heroes of the US Navy. Set during the Korean War, the film relays the story of the Navy's first ever black carrier pilot, Ensign Jesse Brown. Directed by J.D. Dillard, this historical drama sounds amazing. The cast is definitely star-studded for one. Jonathan Majors plays the main role in the film. His wingman, Lieutenant Tom Hudner, is depicted by Glenn Powell. We guess Glenn's role in Top Gun really opened up his avenues. The story focuses on Ensign and Tom's strong friendship during times of segregation and conflict, leading to a heartbreaking act of devotion when one of their planes was shot down behind enemy lines. Joe Jonas plays the role of Marty Good. He worked closely with Thomas Sadowski, who played Dick Savoli. The pair are also real-life fighter pilots. Finally, Joe and Sadowski ask fans to hit the cinemas. While we've all gotten pretty comfortable watching movies in our homes during the pandemic, Sadowski and Jonas are very convincing about why we should hit the cinemas to watch this drama. According to Jonas, it's not even about the action in the movie. Obviously, we'd all love to literally feel the gunshots with the theater sound system, but there's more to it. Joe said that the movie was shot really well. He praised Eric Messerschmidt and director J.D. Dillard for their work. Joe's co-stars Sadowski also pitched in. He said that those who watched this movie in IMAX would have an entirely different experience. He also talked about the sense of community you feel when you're huddled up in a dark movie theater with a bunch of theaters, experiencing all the emotions together. Not gonna lie, the pair has us convinced. And that's not all for this video. This is perhaps Joe's first big opportunity since his Jonas Brothers days, and he's turned to someone no other than his wife Sophie Turner for acting advice. Stay tuned as we get into the details. First up, Joe gets acting advice from his wife, Sophie Turner. This is Joe's opportunity to rebrand himself as a seasoned actor. For this role, Joe has sought advice from Game of Thrones' as Sophie Turner, who just so happens to be his wife. In an interview, Joe spoke out about how he would run lines with his wife. He said Turner was the best acting coach ever. Joe said his wife really is his best critic. She's tough, but honest. Even when Joe felt he did a good job with his scene, Sophie would tell him that he could do better and put in more work. In a heartwarming statement, Joe said that just watching his wife do her thing was the most inspiring, and he was incredibly lucky to be in the same household as such a brilliant actress. Aren't these two the cutest? The couple first connected through Instagram DMs in 2016. They married in 2019 and now share two daughters, the youngest of whom was born just this year in July. The pair have been each other's support systems, sticking together through thick and thin. Proudly gushing over his wife, Joe said that Sophie was an amazing life partner he could always trust and be honest with, knowing he could lean on her when times get tough. That's just adorable. Next up, a look at Sophie's acting experience. Sophie made her acting debut with Game of Thrones, and that's where most of us know her from. She absolutely killed it with that role and was nominated for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Drama Series in 2019. She was this close to getting a Primetime Emmy Award. While the 26-year-old is not part of the Game of Thrones prequel House of Dragons, this is definitely not the end of her acting career. Sophie has just been cast as the titular character in ITV's upcoming six-part drama, Joan. The drama follows the story of a notorious 
jewel thief Joan Hannington, depicting her rise from petty thief to a criminal mastermind. Playing a real-life character is definitely hard, and it seems that Sophie has a knack for it. There's no doubt that her acting advice shaped her husband's performance. We can't wait to see how her advice plays out on the big screen. Moving on, Joe also had some other inspiration. First, it seems that Joe's co-star Sadowski has a lot of experience to bank on. In an interview, Sadowski was asked how he ensures authenticity and honesty in his portrayal of a real person. Sadowski said that the key to the whole process is humility. According to him, you first need to realize that you're telling this person's story because their life matters, and only then can you come in and occupy the space that they took up. There's no doubt that Joe learned a lot on the job from this actor, but that's not all. Apparently, Joe also got some tips from Oscar winner Matthew McConaughey. Jonas opened up about how McConaughey shared stories about the extremes he would go in just so he could become his character. This guy literally stood barefoot on the ledge of a 20-story building once. While Joe clarified that he wouldn't be going this far, he said these stories inspired him to step up his game. Speaking about his own strategy, Joe said that it's important to find your rhythm within the person you're portraying. He said that at some point, you've got to realize that you have enough information on the character. Then you've got to stop obsessing over the details and sprinkle your own magic on the character. We're sure this leads to a much more natural performance. Moving forward, this is Joe's comeback into the world of acting. This film is a chance for Jonas to pursue his long-buried passion for acting. We mean, let's be honest, as much as we loved Camp Rock, we're sure Joe can do better than that. The musician has been open about his passion for acting, saying he loves to immerse himself in new characters. This is his opportunity to show the world how much he's grown. Joe has been swept up on the non-stop Joe Bros grind since 2005. Before the pandemic, he just didn't have time to dive deep into this realm. The lockdown gave him the opportunity he needed since all tours were put to a stop. The three brothers stepped back from their work life to focus on their families, allowing Jonas to get into acting, meeting directors, producers, and writers, and pitching himself to them. Finally, this role puts a lot of pressure on Joe. Speaking about the role, Joe said that he had to really show his worth. He had to prove himself not just to the world, but to the cast and director of the film. If Joe does this role right, it could open up countless opportunities and avenues for him. Joe said that working alongside such a star-studded cast has made him realize that this is real and he's got to bring his A-game. He said that he spoke to the director, J.D. Dillard, and said he knew he wasn't the first choice for the role. He promised to work really hard and devote himself to the film. He said a lot of nerves would come into play, but it felt good to experience something like that again. He said it's important to use pressure to your advantage instead of letting it eat you up. You only grow when you step outside your comfort zone, right? That's a wrap for this video. What do you think about Joe's new movie? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.